See this? It's a fingernail grind. I can do this repeatedly with the same results. I can do it by hand and I'll show you how. It's all down to this little thing. It's called a heli grind jig. Hi, I'm Andrew Potochnik and I'm here to tell you that the heli grind jig is back. If you've missed it for all these years, we're going to show you how and how you can make use of this jig to sharpen your turning tools. When you take a gouge out of the packet, you'll probably find that the manufacturer has ground it fairly square across the end, and in this case, on a fairly sharp angle. What I like to do is to customise it to a fingernail grind. The reason I use a fingernail grind is because it's a very versatile grind. You can use the tool as a cutting tool or a shear scraping tool, and it can work in many different situations. The heli grind kit consists of four major components. You've got the stand, which is the main part, and then you have these interchangeable extra sections that work for different purposes. For instance, this plate here is used for when you want to sharpen scrapers. This one here is the magical one that creates the fingernail grind. And this one is the one that you use for a skew. To set up the jig, all that I did was I took the main carrier section, attached it to a board with two screws. It could be attached to your bench. We don't have the grinder here, so you can see what's going on. The plate section is actually used for sharpening scrapers. So you just rest the tool on the plate and rotate it so that you get the sharp edge that you're after. The second one is when we remove this we can do our fingernail grinds so the gouge slides into the carrier to the designated distance so the distance protruding from there is set then slide the carrier onto the jig and you can see that by rotating the handle of the tool, I can start to get that fingernail grind. The third part is for sharpening skews. So what you do is loosen this screw, slide the skew into position, make sure the side of the blade is flat up against the side of the carrier, tighten the thumb screw, slide that onto the stand and now you just slide the tool from side to side and you'll be able to sharpen the edge of your skew. Obviously you need to be able to do two sides of the skew so for that part loosen the thumb screw, take the tool out, rotate the little trapping mechanism to the other side, flip the skew over, again have the blade sticking out the same distance as you did before and this time the skew will be facing the other way but you'll still get the same angle on the grind and that's the key with this thing with the heli grind that you can repeat everything over and over and get the same cut or the same angle and grind once you've positioned your grinder next to your heli grind you need to do a couple of things first of all I'm going to set up to sharpen a scraper. So I'm going to use the plate and I have two screws here that I can either loosen or tighten so that I can push or pull the uh, stand of the, the uh, jig in towards the stone or out and then I can adjust the angle of the plate. So once I've got those uh, in position, I can tighten the screws I've only just lightly tightened these screws because now I need to set the plate to match the angle of the scraper. Now I'm just going to follow the factory grind in this case and 
I need to get in nice and close and make sure that's, yes, I've got it right. Now I need to tighten both nuts. Now we're ready to start. Let's start with a simple one first, and that is the scraper. So I've set up the plate at the right angle. Everything's in position. I've just done a trial run and turn the grinder on. Just gently place the tool on the table and bring the tool into contact with the stone and rotate around the arc of the tip. This is a wet grindstone, so it's running at a slower speed. So it takes a little longer to sharpen, but you should end up with a perfectly sharpened scraper ready to use. The next tool that I'll sharpen is a skew, and I've attached it to the carrier, appropriate carrier that I need to use. I've adjusted the position of the stand so that I can get the right angle on the bevel. So I just slide that into position on the stand. Once I'm in position, turn the grinder on and just gently bring the tool into contact with the stone. Slide the tool across the face of the stone, left to right. After a few passes, stop, check to see if you've got the right angle and the right sharpness. If you have, then it's time to reverse it turn the tool over and do the second side. Now for the part that sets this heli grind jig apart from others. The ability to constantly repeat a fingernail grind. All just because of the rotation of the, the tool and this little special insert. Slide that into position, turn the grinder on and just gently Present the tool to the stone, rolling from left to right, all the way across to the left again. A few passes. That's assuming you've already got the fingernail grind set up. A few passes and the gouge is sharp and you've got a consistent grind all the way around. And you'll be able to repeat it over and over again and not have to waste tool steel. An extra piece that you'll find in the kit is this little sleeve and it slides inside the main barrel of the, uh, the jig but you don't need it all the time. If you're using a half inch gouge which is this one you just slide it straight inside and tighten. So you don't need that extra insert but if you're using a smaller gouge such as this 3 8 and the diameter of the shaft is a bit thinner you need to simply slide that sleeve into position, put the tool in place, and that helps to centralize the tool in the sleeve. And then you're ready to attach to the, the post, and off you go. Well, the heli run jig is back, and that's good news for wood turners. So if you'd like to find out more, click on the link below. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you like the video, click like, and I'll see you next time. I'm Andrew Potochnik.